the bipolar behavior, the aggressive mood swings, the disrespect, the smearing of your name, the isolation that they do when they isolate you and ostracize you and keep you away from your friends and your family by separation by any means necessary a full-blown psychopathic narcissistic dangerous bipolar sinister narcissist that is the movie that i'm watching sitting here doing my hair, redoing my hair. It is called The Past Three Years. That's the name of it. And I encourage anybody that's having difficulties believing that they're with the narcissist or not even sure what who they're with. They just know that they're going through the smear campaign and being lied on and saying that you did this and uh, uh he's putting or she's putting you against your family and friends and loved ones but you're not quite sure what's going on you think you love them you think you found your uh love of your life you did not what you found or should i say what found you was a narcissist. I encourage everybody that's trying to figure this thing out of who they dating or just to see it in within your own eyes of a full-blown movie. And there's a lot of them out there. But you need to watch this. It's called The Past Three Years. Three is spelled out, T-H-R-E-E. -E. But let me show you. Go watch this movie. I'm almost finished. It's an hour and almost 15 minutes long. And honey, it's getting good. I'm 56 minutes in, so it's almost over. Let me show you. They will even try to set you up and frame you for murder. Yep. They'll even go to your girlfriend, your co-worker, your mother, your sister, your uncle, your cousin, your niece, your nephew. Your best friend, your mama. Did I say your mama? And they will tell them how much they love them and how much they want to be with them. But then they'll play that narcissistic game and say, but I still love him or I still love her because they need leverage to play with your head. But you're flattered like some foolish person because he's saying he always wanted you lying. Take a listen. That's the girlfriend. His girlfriend's girlfriend. Lying on her. I'm going to be here talking right now. Try to put fucking peanut butter on my Yes. He allergic to peanut butter. So he said his girlfriend tried to kill him with peanut butter. And when they drink, it's even worse.
spirit of life took that road that's too by the way. These it was all about the divine and conquering. Isolation. The easy it was gonna be for me to isolate her. You posted shit about me on Facebook. They're thieves. They isolate you and smear your name. Okay. All I did was pour some wine. Just do a little something extra. Something that would put it to sleep. And they will put stuff, poison you, uh, spike your drink, all of that. You know, I'm poisoned. It's a little bit too annoying. Anyway, yeah, I drugged her. Made a couple calls. I made some friends when I was locked up, so I was able to easily get what I needed. And some holiday spirit, right? Took that road that was too, by the way. The easy it was all about divine and conquer. The more energy she had, the easy it was going to be for me to isolate her. You posted shit about me on Facebook? They'll get you fired. You gotta see this movie, honey. It shows you the Jekyll and Hyde. Two faced narcissists. Check it out. It's called The Past Three Years. So he finally do away with his girlfriend and gets with her girlfriend. Y'all know how quick they are to marry. Pay attention. This is painting a picture of future faking. Because look, she like, come on, put it on, put it on. He in his own world. Yeah, he ain't think about you, girl. She going to get it next. Mm-hmm. She going to get it next. On Tubi. You can find that movie on Tubi.